Hey, my name is Sana and I'm a program manager on the Visual Studio Code team. VS Code is a lightweight coding editor and you can use it as soon as you install it. But the best way to have a really good experience coding in this editor is to use extensions. Extensions help make VS Code more fine-tuned to what it is you're working on. Think of them like apps for your phone. There's extensions for everything from programming languages and debuggers to formatters and themes. So let's get started and see which extensions are right for you. When you first open up VS Code, you'll see the welcome screen and a few options under the customize section. Let's click on color theme. This brings up a list of built-in color theme extensions that VS Code comes with. As I scroll through, you can see a preview of each theme. I can scroll to the bottom and install additional ones too. This brings up what we call the extensions marketplace. I can get here by clicking on this icon or from the menu, view extensions. Here we're looking at all extensions that fall in the category of themes. So let's install one. Let's look at this one. Nice, I like this theme and all it took was a push of a button. Let's look at what other extensions there are. You can directly search the extensions marketplace for all extensions you're interested in. You can type in at, and you can also look at the most popular ones sorted by installs or by different categories. So here you can see that there is extensions for virtually anything. If you want to do specific kinds of programming languages, testing frameworks, if you want to use debuggers or formatters, even if you want to do a specific kind of development, say machine learning or something targeting the cloud. So let's look at programming languages. Here you can see a list of all programming languages. If I click on the Python one, for instance, it brings up a details page of the extension. Language extensions are important to install because VS Code will help you write code in that language. Kind of like how Microsoft Word helps you as you write an essay with formatting, autocomplete, spell check, things that make it easier for you. So let's install the Python extension. Sometimes after you install an extension, you might not immediately notice if it's doing something. So you can look at the feature contributions to see a list of all the new things it added, or you can search for them in the command palette. Let's trigger the command palette by clicking Command Shift P and searching for the new extension. Here you can see a list of all the commands that the Python extension added for me that I can now use as I code in Python. Some extensions might also add some new views or trigger in certain scenarios. So now let's see another example of how you might realize which extensions you need to install. If I go back to my Explorer and create a new file, let's call it hello.java. You can see here that VS Code sent me a notification to recommend the Java extension. So let's take a look. Here I see that it's recommending the Java extension pack. An extension pack is a collection of multiple extensions. So here I can see the list of all the extensions and they all look like they'll be useful for me as I code in Java. So don't worry if you're not sure what extensions you want to install. VS Code will try to recommend extensions based on what you're working on um, or you can continue to search the marketplace. One last tip. If you want to see a list of all the extensions you have installed, you can search for it in the marketplace. So if you ever want to clean up your extensions or manage them or uninstall them, you can do that really easily too. So as you can see, based on the extensions you've got, your VS Code and my VS Code could look and behave a little bit differently, but that's the best part you can choose to customize VS Code to work the way you want it to work. If you're interested in learning more, we have tutorials on how to get started with specific language extensions and build your first project. If you have any issues, please let us know by opening up an issue on GitHub. Happy coding!